Yeah, the year is over, my friends. Is my shirt on the right way? Happens to me more than often than you think. A lot of things happened, actually. A lot of things actually didn't happen. And this is what I want to talk to you about. Yeah, it's one of those videos that I actually enjoy quite a bit. Let's talk about some things that are on my mind, especially about some failures that I've had, and especially the one failure that I have to tell you right now that I have to announce now officially. You know, happened so that I've set myself the goal to hit 100,000 subscribers here uh, on YouTube. Guess what happened? Did it happen? We're almost there. We're at right about 95 or something, but we didn't ha hit it. Now, am I sad about that? Actually, no, not really sad. I'm just like, it would be just nice, you know, to close off this year with another milestone. We've I've personally hit lots of milestones this year. It depends how much you want me to share about my things here. I definitely want to share more, even though it kind of feels weird. Like with revenue goals and stuff like this, tripled my revenue or something like this this year, as opposed to 2020, which was sort of the doom year <laughs> you know, for a lot of people out there. With my business model and with my personal brand and with the YouTube channel and with the Instagram agency and with all of these things, 2020 was already like more than double what was in 2019 but um i digress so first of all i didn't hit my personal goal of hitting 100k subscribers you know does it really matter no because we've all almost hit it but yeah i've had one or two videos blow up like two months ago or something like this where suddenly 500 new subscribers came in every day or something like this hello to you to all of the new ones here, by the way. So I was like, you know, if we can continue this trend, we can definitely hit the 100K mark. Yeah, it died down again. Has a lot to do with uh, me not uploading as regularly as I did before up until this year. You know, especially in the second part of this year, I, you know, tried to upload more and better content, you know, taking a lot of, a lot of effort to cut these videos. My computer, Right now has some issues already cutting these videos. Don't ask me why. It used to be very good. But um, yeah, kind of got burned out at the end, right before Christmas or something like this. Like in December, I noticed myself sort of getting burned out. I've been wanting to make a video about this whole thing. Um, but um, yeah, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna take a break. You know, recharge. This is what I would strongly suggest you to do as well. Recharge every once in a while. I forgot about that. I was like, you know, it's so much fun. I have basically the best life Oh my God, can you see this there? Oh no, the whole shot is wrong. This can't be inside. Is it still there? Okay, shh. All right, so no, it's there again. It's there again, even though it doesn't matter at all, I guess for you, but it's just one of the things that I just love, you know, setting everything up with, with tech and stuff like this. Anyway, I digress again, but maybe the, that's what it should be here. With that being said, I took a break, which you should do every once in a while. Uh, I talked to some people, they were like, yeah, take at least one full day where you don't think about work or anything content related, helps to recharge a lot. I didn't do this for almost the whole year. Almost always had content in mind, had work to do you know, with the agency, especially also with the YouTube channel right here. So I never had a full day off and I guess it takes its toll, but yeah. Talking about failures that I've had, and this is some things that I want you to take away from this video. It's perfectly normal to have smaller failures, bigger failures, huge failures where you think the world just, you know, just the rug is pulled under your uh, feet. You know, we're like, this can't be it. You know, I don't know what to do anymore. This is the end. It's usually not. Sometimes, sometimes it does feel like it's the end, but time heals plus. Uh, I strongly believe that it's very important to fail. So let me talk about a few of my failures that I've had. I don't actually don't consider, you know, not hitting 100K subs as a failure. <laughs> I actually think it's pretty great that we're almost there, you know, and I think this me personally being a uh, example that slow and steady wins the race as well. I've never had the the sub count blow up or something like this. Never had this, still have a nice life, still, you know, basically built my dream life by being consistent. Anyway, I've learned very early in life that fa failing is very important. You know, even though at that time it didn't make a lot of sense to me. For example, I failed school, you know, 10 years, more than 10 years ago. Gosh, old, old. Um, yeah, I failed school. Actually, I didn't, yeah, I failed it, but mostly I had to leave because I broke into the school. 
because they were assholes. I just tell you how it is. I still don't regret anything about breaking in the school for more than a year straight, almost. <laughs> yeah. And uh, getting some tests out there and uh, maybe even selling these tests and other things. Had lots of fun. Had the thrill of my lifetime. Uh, but I sort of had to leave school because, <laughs> yeah, because the police were closing in on me. <laughs> I wish this was a joke, but uh, yeah, this is why, you know, this was one of the big failures for me. Cause I was always like, you know, I, you know, I'm a rebel, but still, I still like to, you know, not do all you know, those crazy things. Cause you know, hear about these people who are like failures, big failures, and they can't get anything done. And I, d I just didn't want to fail school, but I just couldn't. Cause like I said, police were closing in. It was a big lesson though, because then I changed school. Everything was perfect then, you know, Second thing, what I can think of right away is I also failed law school. In case you don't know, I went to law school um, and I didn't really fail it in terms of, you know, I could, could make it because I was actually, you know, without patting myself on the shoulder, I was actually pretty good at it, you know, but um, yeah, I just didn't like this. You know, I kind of realized I don't want to do this anymore. You know, I wanted to always wanted to travel. I always wanted to just be my own boss, which you can be when you do law. But still, it was not something that I saw myself in, especially being creative and stuff like this. So I fa failed law school. You know, I just dropped out. Lots of people still think I'm a big failure for failing school, failing law school. Because, um, you know, this is just one of those traditional ways that you do. You know, at the end, back in the day, I felt so bad talking about this. I felt so bad, actually, uh, you know, stating to myself becoming you know clear with myself to you know say well i've worked for years on this law degree almost done but just didn't feel feel right and now you know i'm done i'm not gonna do this anymore it's a safety option was gone and lots of people like i said they told me how wrong that was still lots of people tell me how wrong that is even though you know i don't want to say you know bad things about this whole thing but lots of my colleagues who were now obviously lawyers, they just have a pretty stressful life right now for a lot less money than, for example, I make, you know, without trying to sound, you know, weird. But uh, that's just the way it is. Now, talking about money and the whole journey of becoming a creator, I did fail a lot of times, a lot more than you might realize. I tried to make a YouTube channel once or twice before I actually made this one. For example, I had this company, uh, an online dating company where we helped people shoot pictures for online dating, stuff like this, even though it sort of worked at that time for me and felt like it worked, but uh, you know, it didn't work. You know, looking at it right now, back to you know, what I know now, but creating businesses about making money online, it was actually sort of a failure. It was a big failure. You know, we've got to be honest about that. Um, you know, it felt bad for me as well when I said, well, I'm not going to pursue this anymore. Hurt in my heart. Felt like the biggest failure. It was, it was the thing that I've worked for the most. I was feeling bad at the time when I said, well, I failed. But as you can see, just another part of the process. Then, talking about online products. I was trying a lot of times to make this thing work, you know, to make money online. I've talked about this before, but it felt like all of the people online, all, all of the people on the internet, all those gurus felt like they were full of shit. And I couldn't believe anybody anymore because it felt like, you know, they're just boasting with those numbers and, and their money and stuff like this, blah, like I do right now. But yeah, I felt like they were all bullshitting. So, because no, nothing worked for me, but... At one point, it actually did. But until then, I failed so many times. For example, I tried to write an ebook also about this online dating. I was like, all right, I can see this working really well. Talking about hope marketing. I don't know if we ever talked about that. But basically, hope marketing is where you just hope for things to happen. And you're like, I feel like this could be a good idea. And you think this is your business. It's actually nothing. <laughs> so you know, I wrote this ebook without doing any research. Oh, you know, market research or anything. Just throw it out there, throw it on the uh, marketplace of Amazon <laughs> and thought things would happen, you know? I honestly thought things would happen. In the morning, I remember the first morning waking up. Oh gosh, I have so many memories of myself waking up, going to bed at night. I'm like, tomorrow I'm gonna make it. Tomorrow I'll have 
$10,000 in my bank account. You know, I didn't have any money back then in my bank account because I spent most of the things by, you know, working on these things. You know, all of the things for, from my, my part-time time job that I had and stuff like this, I just basically invest, invested everything into, you know, trying to make it in this online world. Woke up, obviously, <laughs> nobody bought. I bought a bunch of cop. I, I sold a bunch of copies. But that was about it. This was actually the time when I first sort of understood how important marketing was, that you can't just throw stuff out there and it will magically start to sell itself. No. <laughs> actually, see, this huge failure was a, a big learning point for me as well. And actually, and without trying to sound like, to, like a guru, which I absolutely hate, or any of those weird motivational speakers, not that there's anything wrong with that, they're, they have their, their you know, part of existence in the world, but it, I, I actually thinking about it right now, all of my failures that I'm, I've been talking up until now, they have helped me you know, step a little bit further. Also the agency, my agency, my marketing agency, Maverick, was a big failure for, first of all, for months, trying to figure out how to make this thing work. Then we've made it work, I've had my YouTube channel already. Uh, we've had pretty great revenue, pretty great revenue, 10, 15, $20,000 a month revenue, not talking about profits at all. You know, we're, we were two people, we had lots of stuff to pay. So n not as much as you might think coming out at the end. And it still felt safe for me because I was still in this, uh, you know, normal job hustle. So I was like, yeah, probably will stay this way. And suddenly, you know, you mostly by, ha you know, doing some very bad business decisions. Why? Because we didn't know better. Uh, from one day to the other, our revenue dropped. And uh, yeah, I didn't really expect that. And all of a sudden I, my money was like, uh oh, my my money that I have is going down quite drastically, and it's you know kind of the red alert coming on. <laughs> Big failure on my part. I, I remember sitting at home like, okay, I made this YouTube channel. I trying to make this, um, yeah, agency work. I don't know what to do anymore. Seemed like it was a failure. But instead of saying, well, I'm not gonna do this anymore. I'm just gonna pivot, or I'm just gonna go back to the, you know. <laughs> going to work somewhere, which is something I could never, ever do again. Um, you know, I tried to make it work. Why? Because I knew it, this can't be it. And I knew I had to do something kind of good for motivation if you don't have any money, which is another thing that I have right now still. I've been battling for this for a year about motivation, about, you know, money. If you sort of have enough money, enough, you know, to live comfortably. Uh, and if you're an easy person like me, <laughs> now, but really, yeah, whatever. So, yeah, I made the agency work again, uh, spring to life, actually to very great numbers um, up until now. Why? Because I we've had big failures, especially one big failure three years ago or something like this, 2019 or something at the beginning, I believe it was. So see, another failure where we kind of reevaluated things and I was like, yeah, it has to be done, something done about it. And uh, we structured this whole thing from new, this thing from new. Um, you know, also me you know, getting clear that I, me personally, I have to have multiple revenue streams because at the beginning, the agency was my only revenue stream that I've had, you know, and the YouTube ad revenue, which at that time was like five, six, seven hundred dollars a month. Right now, it's still not more. I think seventeen, eighteen hundred, two thousand five hundred, something like this. Fluctuates quite a bit. And part of that was actually uh, you're coming out uh, with an online program, an online course, uh, the IG Black File, which is doing pretty well, which has been doing pretty well. But this was not always the case. You know, people always see that like, oh, uh, you know, create your online course. It's so easy to create an online course. You know, if you have some knowledge or expertise in some field. Actually, no, I tried to do that as well. You probably forgot it. Some people might remember some online courses that I've had. My first online course um, did pretty, uh, my, my first online course did pretty well. Pretty well, I, I don't remember the, the numbers. I've had, had them written down somewhere. But in the meantime, I tried to launch different uh, other sort of online courses. Some of them failed. And like, again, I was sitting at home and was like, okay, I created the whole course beforehand, investing so much time in it. And nobody really bought this course. There were a bunch of them actually. 
you know, big failures as well. I felt like a loser. I was like, ah, I do have an, because I already had somewhat of an audience, um, but uh, felt like a loser again. What did I learn from that? Actually, yeah, doing some market research and, um, yeah, not just creating the things beforehand, <laughs> you know, putting in lots of work beforehand if it's not evaluated, evaluated. You know, which is something we talk about in the Instagram Live file, by the way. Not only for, for you know, putting out products, but also for, you know, your content strategy, actually. I think another failure, you know, that's the thing. Always in the back of my mind, I'm like, okay, I should have done this. I should have done that. Should have, would have, could have. But actually, the, not the best way to go about things. But for example, videos like this, where we just get to know each other a little bit, where I don't constantly have the algorithm in mind, you know? Because right now I have this program, the, the, the YouTube algorithm in my mind. Okay, I can't make this video because I need a f strong hook. I need to keep you guys hooked. And because if my click through rate is not there and if, and if in the first 30 seconds, the average watch time is not above average, you know, the, the algorithm is not going to show it to many people. Then it will seem like a failure. Other people will see that I don't have a lot of views. Then I will walk on the street and somebody comes up to me and says, Hey, Dominic, I see your latest videos don't perform as well. Why? Happens, <laughs> happens to me, by the way. Happened to me twice or three times already. So, yeah. And this is going on in my mind, but it's actually a fa it's actually a failure on my part to not do these kind of videos more and diversifying my content probably as well. And I've been talking about this in some videos where I'm like, I want to diversify apart from just Instagram related content, obviously, because there's just so much more and it, could, it, it will benefit all of you, I guess, or most of you. Uh, and I've been thinking of this very exact thing since I've had 5k subs on YouTube, you know, I was like, okay, with 5,000 subs, I was like, yeah, should I, I, I could try to branch out, but I noticed getting a little less traction uh, with other types of videos. Um, so I just continued the, the, the Instagram, Instagram route, you know, which is good, which a lot of people tell you to actually do this thing, to take a very specific niche and go about it. Still, I think I should have you know, diversified a little bit, you know, a little more early on. Uh, Cause you know, back then I had 5,000 subs. Right now I'm at 95,000. <laughs> now it's probably a little bit harder even to, you know, go there. So fail your way through 2022 and you will be as successful as never before. Yes, that's actually true. I strongly believe that. And with that being said, happy new year, my friends. Thanks for tuning in. Lots of great things to come, I guess. Lots of more videos like this as well. Lots of other videos. So yeah, drink one for me. Not gonna drink one today. Yeah, not always. Contrary to popular belief, sometimes I just drink water. Bye, my friends. Bye, Dominators. <laughs>